Good afternoon, Yellow Tim, and welcome back to more children's Torah stories. We are learning the story of the new Jewish king called Yehu. And Yehu has an important mission. He must make sure that all the idols that King Ahav used to make are destroyed from the Jewish people. Well, how's Yehu going to do that? Because the Jewish people, so many Jewish people have started praying to idols. And the ones with the idols are very strong and powerful. And if you try to fight them, they're going to fight back. So what are we going to do? Well, Yehu was a clever, clever man. And he had a clever, clever plan. This is what he did. He said, Jewish people, I am the new king, as you know. And I have a very important announcement to make. I love idols. They are my best. The more idols, the better. Let's have a great big party for all the idols and all the priests of idols in all the land. They can all come together and we will have a special idol party. Can you guess what kind of trick he's doing, Yellow Dim? Say everyone brings their idols. Come along, bring your idols, get all the priests, everything. And then he says, and actually, if you don't come with your idols, then whoever prays to idols but didn't come to my idol party will go to jail. So all the idol people said, Ah, we will definitely come to the idol party. We want to have an idol party and we don't want to go to jail. jail. So along they came, all the different idols and all the priests of the idols. Come, let's go to pray to idols together. We can all have a party with King Yehu because he loves idols so much. And then when they all arrived, King Yehu, all the people with their idols were there and everything. And King Yehu said, okay, police. Yes, King Yehu. Take all the priests of the idols and put them in jail and smash all of the idols. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, wait, said the idol people. But wait, you said you loved idols. I tricked you. <laughs> oh, no. Now people will pray to Hashem instead of idols. <laughs> yes, but that is a good thing, you silly balookas. And <laughs> off they went to jail. And King Yehu did something amazing, something so good, putting all of those people with their idols in jail. Well, King Yehu could have become one of the greatest kings ever, but unfortunately, he still did one thing wrong. Because there were all the extra idols that King Ahav put in the Jewish people, but there were the original idols that had been there a Let's long see. time. This is a golden calf. It's there not were the golden, golden calves that Yeravam, when the Jewish people first split into half and half, Yeravam, one of the kings, the golden calf that Yeravam had made was still around. The Jewish people still used to pray to that. And King Yehu said, that's fine. You can just have one idol, the golden calf, but don't have all the other idols. What do you think of that, Yeladim? Good or bad? Bad, you are quite right. 
So most of the things that Yehu did were good. He managed to get the Jewish people to stop praying to so many idols. And a lot of them went back to Hashem and all that kind of thing. But unfortunately, there was still Goldie Coffee that they still used to pray to. So Hashem said, Yehu, oh Yehu, because you were so good and you got rid of so many idols, you will be the king. And your son will be the king. And your grandson will be the king. And your great-grandson will be the king. So that is four generations. Four times father, son, grandson, great-grandson. But after that, somebody else will be the king. Not your family anymore. Because you were good enough to get four generations of being a king in your family. But... Then you also left this golden coffee around. And so after those four generations, someone else will be the king. Well, that was a story that happened in the northern kingdom. The top part where they didn't have the beta mekdash. But now I have a story for you of the southern kingdom. The bottom part where they did have the Beit HaMikdash. And the story, I told you a little bit about her. About Queen Atalia. Queen Atalia was so bad. She was Ahav's daughter. And she started being bad to the Jewish people. And to the Beit HaMikdash. And. And she had all these children. Who were actually not Jewish. And she told, taught them how to play a game. Do you want to hear what their game was? And then you'll tell me if it was a good game or a bad game. Their game was called. Let's throw stones at the Beit HaMikdash. What do you think? You like them? Good game or bad game? Terrible game. That is the worst game I've ever heard in my whole entire life. And they would all say, Ah, beta mikdash, shmeda mikdash. Who needs a special home for Hashem? Just throw stones at it. Just bash it down. It's not important. Oh, how could you say that about Hashem's special home? That is not a good thing. And she started chasing away. The Jewish people who should have been the king. And in fact, there was one little boy. Here he is. There was one little boy who she was trying to get him and put him in jail. His name is Yoash. And Yoash actually went to hide. When he was six years old, his own granny, Queen Natalia, wanted to grab him and put him in jail. But the Kohanim, the Kohanim, that's the special priest from Hashem, the Kohanim would hide him in the Beit HaMikdash. And her family never went to the Beit HaMikdash, they only used to throw stones at it. So he was hiding in the Beit HaMikdash from when he was six years old. And so Queen Natalia was saying, we must find Yoash and put him in jail. But the Kohanim were hiding him. And he stayed there for another, uh, I beg your pardon, he actually they put, hid him away when he was a baby. They kept him there until he was six years old. And once he was already a little bit older, Yohoyada who was one of the Kohanim, Yehoyada said, Okay, now I am coming up with a special plan. And this plan is going to chase King Atalia away forever and make Yoash the king of the Jewish people and make the Beit HaMikdash so nice for Hashem again. Do you want to hear what Jehoiada's plan was, Yeladim? I'll tell you tomorrow. Bye.